Hi, in this video, we shall look at pin configuration, truth table, and logic diagram of 74LS157 IC. 74LS157 IC is a quad 2 to 1 multiplexer IC. That means it will have 4 2 is to 1 multiplexer. So, first let us look at the pin configuration. So, this is also a 16 pin IC with pin number 16 connected to VCC and pin number 8 connected to ground. Pin number 1 is the select line and pin number 15 is an active low enable input connected to each of the 4 multiplexer. Pin number 2 and 3 are the data lines of first multiplexer. Pin number 4 is the output of first multiplexer. Pin number 5 and 6 is the data lines of second multiplexer. Pin number 7 is the output of second multiplexer. Pin number 14 and 13 are the data lines of third multiplexer. Pin number 12 is the output of third multiplexer. Pin number 11 and 10 is the data line of fourth multiplexer. And pin number 9 is the output of fourth multiplexer. Let us now look at the truth table of 74LS157 IC. 74LS157 IC has two inputs E bar and S and four outputs YA, YB, YC and YD. So when E bar is 1, irrespective of the select line, the output of each multiplexer is 0 since the mux are disabled and when E bar is 0 depending on the select line either D0 or D1 of that particular mux gets connected to the output. So when E bar is 0 and S is 0, D0 of each of the multiplexer gets connected to the output. So YA will become D0A, YB will be D0B, YC is D0C and YD is D0D. Similarly, when E bar is 0 and S is 1, D1 gets connected to the output. So YA will be D1A, YB will be D1B, YC will be D1C and YD will be D1D. Now in order to find out the output expression for each of this multiplexer, which is YA, YB, YC and YD. I can do it from the truth table. So YA can either be D0A or D1A depending on E bar and S. YA is D0A when E bar is 0 and S is 0. So min term representation of E bar 0 and S0 is E S bar and Y A is D1 A when E bar is 0 and S is 1. So its min term representation will be E S. All that I am doing is if it is 0 then I will complement it and if it is 1 I will write down as it is. So similarly for Y B Y B can be D0B or D1B depending on E bar and S. So YB is D0B when E bar is 0 and S is 0. So it will be E S bar. When I do E bar bar, it will become E. That is why I am writing E here. 
and s is 0 so i'll write s bar and yb is d1b when e bar s is 0 1 so it will be e s and yc can be d0c or d1c so yc is d0c when e bar is 0 and s is 0 so it will again be e s bar and yc is d1c when e bar is 0 and s is 1 so it will be es last yd can be d0d or d1d depending on e bar and s so yd is d0d when e bar is 0 and s is 0 so it will be es bar and yd is d1d when e bar is 0 and s is 1 so it will be e s so these are your output expressions if i draw the logic diagram using basic gates it will give me the logic diagram of 74ls157 ic so this is the logic diagram of 74ls157 ic You can see I have four outputs YA, YB, YC, and YD. One select line and one active law enable input, and two data lines for each of the multiplexer A, B, C, and D. This is S, so this will be S bar, and output of this AND gate will be E S because there is a NOT gate here, and output of this AND gate will be e s bar similarly output of this and gate will be and output of this and gate will be both the outputs are given to the or gate so y a will be Similarly, output of this AND gate is and output of this AND gate is so YB will be output of this AND gate is output of this AND gate is so YC will be output of this AND gate will be and output of this AND gate will be so YD will be so you can see that YA, YB, YC, YD is the same as what we got from the truth table